Hey everyone, uh, just a quick tutorial video on how to use my save files that I uh, generate through True 100% Plus. Uh, lots of people have been asking me how to use the save files that I provide, and a lot of other people are saying they use the save files but it doesn't work. Uh, so I thought rather than answer everyone individually, I'll just make or, or like make talk about it in an episode that gets lost forever because no one wants to watch every episode again. Uh, I'll just make its own separate quick tutorial video on how to use them. Uh, if you want to access uh, my save files, I upload every single one to Google Drive, uh, which I provide a link to at the bottom of every episode, uh, along with a few other things. So we have the True 100% Plus vehicle uh, list. So this shows like a list of every vehicle I've ever driven and whatnot. Uh, and then we have all these episode folders. So if I go in episode 30, which is the latest episode, you can see that there's a few things. There's all these .b files, and then there's the stats file. The stats file is a HTML page that the game outputs that shows all the stats that you have on the save file. It's pretty cool. You can like, read through a load of random stuff that I've done, whatever. Uh, but what we're interested in is these .b files. So these .b files are all the save files I made in the episode, and they're numbered. So you can see episode 30, part 1, is the first one I made, and there's part 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are all the save files I made in the episode. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to download the latest one, and we're going to try and play it. Uh, so in order to do this, what you need is a copy of the game, obviously. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I downloaded the Steam version of the game, and I'm going to be trying to load my save files into that. And it's going to have compatibility issues, which is what I'm going to show you how to fix. Uh, and you also need a save file from your version of the game. So what I also did is I played through the game just enough to make a save file uh, so we can use it to figure out what version of the game we're playing and whatnot. But yeah, so here we go. So what we do is we download this save file. So, oh, yeah, just, just download it. There we go. I don't want to preview it. So then it downloads, and here we have it. Then we need to go to our documents folder. So I've already done this. So I went to my documents. Uh, my documents is in a different place to yours because I moved it manually. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to just click this button, I guess. Or if you're using Windows 10, whatever the equivalent is. Go to your documents. You should know what your documents is. Come on now. Go to your documents and find the San Andreas user files uh, folder. In here, uh, yours might have a bit more few, form, uh, few more things than mine. Uh, but what I've got is I have one save file and a settings file and two folders. What we're interested in the save files, obviously, which is this B file. So this is the save file I made in game that you're going to need. Uh, but there, here's the one we downloaded. So I'm going to take the one we downloaded, put it in here, and there it is. And what we need to do before we can use it is we need to rename it to what the game expects it to be. So I'm going to make it GTA SA San Andreas SF, which means save file, and the number between one and eight because there's how many save slots there are. So I'm going to make it free, just so we can tell it's different. So there's that one. Uh, and then the game can recognize it and you can load it. So this might be all you need to do if you're using the same version of me, uh, but you might not be showing, using the same version of me. So yeah, I downloaded the Steam version, uh, which I know it's not going to work with. So I'll just show you that now. So we just launch this up. Uh, it might be a really low frame rate because I'm just purely capturing my desktop rather than using game capture, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So I can load the game. So here's the save file I made today, just a few minutes before recording this. And here's the save file I just downloaded. So if I load the save file I made, should just load. And here we are in CJ's house right at the start of the game. Uh, so that works. So now if I try to load this game, uh, this save that I downloaded from my Google Drive, try to load it. Uh, the game just starts a new game instead of loading it. Um, what this means is that it's a compatibility issue. So I think how it works is if your version of the game is newer than the one I'm playing on, uh, the game just makes a new save and you just play from there. Uh, but if you're playing on a version that's older than mine, what happens instead is the game just crashes. <laughs> but if you're playing the same version as me, then it works, obviously. So how we fix this is by using a website, a fantastic website, called GTA SMP. 
uh, which is an old website that's been around for ages, originally designed to help people say, uh, share save files between another. Uh, but now it's just become a big save file hosting website for the most part. Uh, but we're only really interested in its conversion features, not really its hosting features. I could host my save files here, um, but it'd be a lot of work and I'd have to get in contact with the guy that runs it and stuff. And yeah, it's just easier for me to use Google Drive because it also works as a backup for me, right? And I can host other stuff. But yeah, so what we need to do is we need to go on this website and we need to first figure out what version of the game we're using, which is why we needed our save file that we made. So this is the save file, the one I loaded, the one I showed you that I made. And what we do is we drag it into this and we upload it to this website. So you can see it gives you a load of information about the save file. You can see I just made it. $409. I think I did some wheelies. <laughs> and it can show like, you know, the last mission I did. Uh, and here's the version of the game we're playing. These are the two numbers we're interested in, right? So the version of the game, apparently Steam uses 2.0 original or converted. So yeah, the latest Steam version is 2.0 apparently. Uh, and the script version is version 2 as well. So what we need to do is we need to remember these numbers uh, and then we need to go back and then we upload uh, the save file you downloaded either like from here directly or from here if you want to convert it first or whatever but yeah I'll just upload this save file and you can see if things are different so ver my version of the game is 1.01 modified but still version 2 script so what you need to do is you need to convert this to your version so you go to you go to modifications down here, expand it, and we find this. So the current version's 1.01. Uh, it's already kind of doing the conversion for us. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you select standard 2.0 or whatever version you're using. Uh, your version might be different. Obviously, if you're German, it's going to be different. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to select standard 2.0. Uh, and then you've got all these other things that we don't really need to worry about. It just fixes a load of glitches if it detects them. Uh, personally, there's this Move Mad Dog Mansion save disk thing. Uh, I know it's in a glitchable location or whatever, but I prefer to just leave it where it is. Obviously, because I don't like to mod my game and stuff. Uh, so there, I just turn that off. And then you can also make a custom save name. So I'm just going to call it uh, Fixed 100 Save. There you go. So you can give it a custom save name if you want. So you can like easily identify the save file and whatnot. Okay, so what we do is and then we choose a slot that we want to download it to. So this basically just numbers the save between 1 to 8. So I'm going to download it to slot 5. So we should download GTA SF, yeah, 5. There we go. So then we drag this in here. It already names it for us, all lovely dovely. So there's the fifth save file that we just made. So now, if I try to use that save file instead, uh, what we can see is that it actually works, which is great. So here's the fixed 100 save that we made. Try to play it. And it actually loads. There we are. Now I'm uh, at the end of episode 30, where I last left off. <laughs> so there you go. So that's how you use the save files uh, from my uh, Google Drive. Um, obviously, it might be easier for you because you might be using the same version as me and it might just work straight away or it might not. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a small note, if you are playing on the latest Steam version, like you just bought the game and downloaded it from Steam or whatever, uh, I would advise using this tutorial by Vladim M uh, to download the uh, downgrade the Steam version uh, to make it the uh, retail version. Uh, that they suggest and you can probably add silent patch and stuff like that the reason i suggest that is because the steam version is pretty crappy uh, it adds some features but it takes away a lot of other features and also removes a lot of music and stuff so i would recommend downgrading the game and also makes it moddable and whatnot uh, and at one point in this tutorial they, they give a list of all the mods you can install and whatnot uh, the only mod i would really recommend is silent patch uh, if you just want to play the game normally Silent Patch is just, it's basically just a patch by a guy called Silent that just fixes every problem with the game, right? It lets you play at like 30 FPS instead of 25 and yeah, if you're playing the game casually and you're not interested in speedrunning or anything like that, just download the Silent Patch. It makes the game so much better. 
Uh, but at any rate, if you're playing the Steam version, make sure you downgrade it. Trust me, it's so much better. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this fixes your problems. I hope this makes it so everyone can play the save files now and stop bugging me about it. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys for the next episode, whenever that happens. Yeah, bye!